phrase memorable to many of us more by the feelings of apprehension and excitement they evoked than by actual memories of the days themselves. These were the days we submitted applications and absurdly expensive deposits that would shape our futures. And these were the days I had panic attacks. Starting from an, age, starting from an early age, we are constantly asked, so, what do you want to do when you grow up? When I was in kindergarten, I wanted to be a dance instructor, or maybe move on as well. In fourth grade, I wanted to be a marine biologist, or a writer. In fifth grade, I wanted to be a teacher, and in eighth grade, I wanted to be a nurse. However, the idea of being a nurse stuck with me since eighth grade. In that choice, I was so confident. And yet, as I pressed that ominous submit button this past November 1st on our book on the common application, all I could think was, I want to be a nurse, but I want to be more than that. I want to be a teacher, a traveler, a writer, or heck, maybe I still want to move on. The day of reckoning when I was supposed to have figured out what I want to be when I grow up has passed. And the truth is, I was panicking because somewhere, some part of me still had no idea what that grown up self was to be. My uncertainties resurfaced this past January 1st when I submitted my last college application. And then again on May 1st when I made my decision where I will attend school next year. I put these feelings and apprehension aside though, because what else really was there to do? After May 1st, I began to think of another important date back in the fall. The day the Nickelodeon Regional Class of 2014 chose their motto. We were all in the auditorium, and we took a vote between three quotations. A vote which resulted in the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, representing our class's philosophy, saying, do not go where the path may be. Go instead where there is no path and make a trail. These inspirational words are blazed on the banner above our heads, telling us to go forth and defy convention, change the world, and become trailblazers. Well, that's all fine and good, coming from Ralph Waldo Emerson, that is. The guy who created a whole new social philosophy called Transcendentalism, and who wrote what is now considered to be America's Intellectual Declaration of Independence. Emerson is the epitome of trailblazers. So really, who is he to sit above us today and tell us that anything is possible? Easy for you to say, Waldo. <laughs> Yet, we chose Emerson's words to embody our class and epitomize his words, do we ever. We are a class of innovators, pioneers, and fierce individuals. So take a look at our model again. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and make a trail. <coughs> Emerson might be encouraging us to trailblaze, but he's also telling us that in order to do so, we must take the road untaken, that we must embrace the unknown. And class of 2014, there are a lot of unknowns right now, aren't there? Whether you are off to school next year, serving our country, working, taking a gap year, or still on graduation day, have no idea what you want to be doing a year from today. Not knowing is okay. In fact, I would argue that it is more, much more than okay, because when you do not know, you are open to all the opportunities in the world. And indeed, it is a world of boundless possibilities. The crux of the matter is this, though. It is not so easy to embrace that which you do not know and unlock those opportunities. We are a planning society. It is essential that you know what you want to do, when you're going to do it, and how you're going to do it. The only real way to know what in the world you are meant to do at 17, 18, and 19 years old, is to follow convention. Convention can be a sticky trap, though, paving a concrete road leading from high school to college and college.
college to work, where it can be difficult to see a crack in the guardrail through which to break and blaze a trail to your future. Consider Emerson's words again, though. He is telling us to go where there is no path and leave a trail. He is not asking us to defy convention at every turn. Emerson is merely telling us to follow our own paths. Trailblazing will happen as it will. Do not limit yourself by what you do and do not need to know. Embrace the unknowns of your future and allow them to become stepping stones in the path to make of your lives. And so, class of 2014, today is May 30th. Today is another day we will always hold in our memories. And today is the day I stand before you quoting Emerson and offering you all a challenge. From this day on, I challenge you to follow Emerson's words and allow the unknowns of your future to blaze a trail. Be true to yourselves and be unique in your own lives. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be a part of this class. And I am so proud to say that I am a part of the class as vibrant and as pioneer as the Midwest Regional Class of 2014. I have every confidence that the paths you all will leave in your lives will be as bright and as fortuitous as your futures outside these doors today. Thank you.